Hello everyone, welcome to Nonsense Food Book Up. Hope you guys are keeping absolutely fine. Today we are in a special video where we will discuss the group stage of Euro 2020. We will see which countries are in which group and which countries have the most possibilities to qualify for the knockout stage. So let's begin. As you can see, in Group A, we have Italy, Switzerland, Turkey and Wales. So Italy obviously the most favorite team from Group A. They will obviously easily qualify for the knockout stage. Now confusion between Switzerland and Turkey, whether Switzerland will qualify or Turkey. For me it is going to be Turkey because uh, recently they are in good form. They have beaten France recently. So they will have a good confidence in this tournament. So my prediction is Italy and Turkey from group A to qualify into the knockout stage. Anyway, let's go to group B where we will have Belgium, Denmark, Finland and Russia. So obviously Belgium is the most favorite team from group B and they are obviously one of the most favorite teams in Euro 2020's group stage. Now, uh, I think Denmark will qualify after Belgium. So Belgium and Denmark uh, from Group B will be qualified into the knockout stage is my prediction. Anyway, now go to Group C. We have Netherlands, Ukraine, Austria and North Macedonia. So obviously Netherlands is the most uh, favorite team from Group C. Now the confusion is between uh, Ukraine or Austria, uh, both teams have the possibilities to qualify for the knockout stage. Uh, Ukraine is a possible team as well as Austria, so there will be a um, good fight between Ukraine and Austria. The team who will win in the head-to-head -head match will obviously have the uh, great advantage to qualify from Group C after Netherlands. So let's see whether Ukraine or Austria who qualifies for the um, knockout stage. If we go to group D, we have England, Croatia, Scotland, Czech Republic. Very easy to predict, I think, England and Croatia to qualify for the knockout stage. Now I will go to group E, we have Spain, Sweden, Poland and Slovakia. Obviously Spain is the most uh, favorite from group E. Uh, but there is also a confusion between Sweden and Poland will, which team will go to the knockout stage. It can be Sweden or it can be Poland. Sweden is a good team and uh, Poland have the, one of the world's best number 9, uh, Robert Lewandowski. Uh, Sweden could play with Zlatan Ibrahimovic but unfortunately they missed him uh, in the last moment for his injury. But uh, Sweden is a good package team. Uh, they have uh, a good uh, team combination, uh, I can say, in um, in the field. And Poland, uh, I think he, it's a one army team because uh, without Robert Lewandowski, I don't think any possibilities for Poland to qualify for the knockout stage. So I think Spain and Sweden will qualify from Group E. Now the last group, Group F. Uh, we have Hungary, Portugal, France and Germany. So the last group is obviously the group of death in Euro 2020's um, group stage because Portugal, France and Germany all are Europe top teams. Both have possibilities and every team from here, I, I mean Portugal, France and Germany wants to qualify for the knockout stage but two teams will get chance. I think France um, is uh, the most favorite from group F because uh, they are uh, they seem to be a good uh, complete team because they have world class goalkeepers they have world class defenders like Rafael Varane obviously from Real Madrid uh, uh, they have a uh, good uh, right backs and left backs from Bayern Munich Benjamin Pavard and Lucas Hernandez they have world class midfielders like Paul Pogba Ngolo Kante and others and they have obviously world class forwards like uh, Kylian Mbappe Antoine Griezmann and recently joined uh, Karim Benzema after six years will obviously make the team a dangerous team for any opponent in the group stage of group F. 
Now, uh, if I take France as the first team to qualify, now the confusion is between Portugal and Germany. Um, actually, I can predict that which team will qualify from Group F because both Portugal and Germany uh, have the possibilities. The two teams are currently rebuilding with their new young players. If I say about Germany, they have young players like Kai Habers and many others. And if we talk about Portugal, they have also some youngsters. They are rebuilding with uh, um, uh, Bruno Fernandes. They have uh, uh, they are rebuilding with uh, um, Ruben Diaz, obviously the uh, great wall of Manchester City. And uh, both have uh, world class. Uh, experienced players if we uh, look uh, about germany uh, they have um, um, manuel neuer mars hamels thomas muller um, and others and if we uh, go to portugal we have uh, um, obviously the uh, one of the world's best player cristiano ronaldo uh, and a world class center back like pepe so uh, both uh, portugal and germany uh, are uh, combining the team with both young players and experienced players so I actually I uh, it's a, um, I'm in confusion that uh, which team I will pick uh, Portugal and uh, Germany. Uh, I think it's uh, better to uh, lift up to you. Uh, you guys say in the comment section that which team uh, can qualify from Group F? Will it be Portugal or Germany? I'm waiting for your comments. So guys, this was all about uh, today's videos. Uh, we have seen the uh, six groups and we have seen that which countries are in which groups and try to give a prediction about um, all the groups but football doesn't uh, follow any rules uh, because uh, it's very unpredictable i wouldn't be surprised if hungary qualifies from group f because it's possible it's football you can't predict anything in football hungary may beat france who knows then they can qualify so guys uh, I just try to give a simple prediction I could um, hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have liked this video then don't forget to give likes and comments and share this video to your friends make sure you have subscribed our channel to be a part of our family see you guys in the next video till then goodbye